And the federal government of Nigeria and state government at all levels have been asked to invest more in cyber security and other related information technology, ICT education, to produce top-notch graduates to tackle 21st century security challenges confronting the nation. The educationist met the call at the signing memorandum of understanding in Kaduna between Greenfield University Kaduna and Top Faith University Akwaibom aim to improve cyber security research and academic performance as well as create opportunities for students in the ICT world across the country. Speaking, the pro-chancellor of Cranfield University, Engineer Simon Wakacha, says establishing a world-class cyber security lab is to ensure students advance the ICT sector to compete with their counterparts in the 21st century who will be top-notch graduates in cyber security in Nigeria. Of that, the critical elements of the MOU, which has to do with exchange of knowledge, research, uh, students exchange, staff exchange, training, seminars, and these are things we are going to work out the modalities to ensure that we implement them immediately and sequentially. Someone who is quite interested and excited about the dynamics of the 21st century, and you know the 21st century is dominated uh, by digitalization, it's digital age. And for those of us who were born earlier than 21st century, are supposed to be alien, we're immigrants in the digital age. So this is the age where cyber security, in form of what it means to society, should be emphasized. So the fact that this university is spearheading research and knowledge and facilities that is expected to catapult students' thinking, learning and research in this area, it is something commendable. Also, the founder of Top Faith University, Dr. Thomas Abraham, says the dynamics of the 21st century are not dominated by digitalization, which is a cybersecurity area that must be harnessed in the educational sector for the development of the nation. Establish an ICT uh, academy as part of this uh, uh, cybersecurity laboratory so that uh, people can uh, uh, really become top-notch in what we are doing. The fact that we are trying to bring in while we're here means that we are serious with ourselves. Eh? And then uh, with the relationship we are forging with, uh, uh, with uh, Top Fit, I think the sky will be just a limit. I'm proud and happy that uh, this arrangement is, uh, has been consummated. And our intention is to do that with more and more uh, you know, establishments so that those who come out of this university will face the challenges of the modern times. They called on federal and state government not to only invest in public cyber security, but on both private and public educational sector for maximum impact in the society to address the challenges confronting us as a nation. Look at the cybersecurity as a course that will enhance their ability and capability to cope in the digital world. Balance academic diet that will make them to stand this, the test of time. The investment in this um, uh, cybersecurity is much, and you know, as a private institution, as a private institution, we harness all internally generated revenue to build the university. We don't enjoy a third fund. We don't enjoy any benefit from the government. So the challenge is that, you know, one major call that I would like to make is that third fund should be extended. Third fund funding should be extended to private universities in this country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.